So I just want to clarify one thing, just one thing, because I'm not a liar. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. How you doing? How you doing? Yes. Today is Monday. I do not know when I'm gonna get this video up. So maybe I should say today is Monday. Maybe I should say today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Could be Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, it's just one of those days. But in the meantime, how you doing? How you doing, honey? How you doing? Leave it in the comment section below. Let me sister know how you doing, okay? So although school is over, school is not really over. I mean, it's over, but it's not over. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So anyway, listen, 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 listen. So today was the first day of training, okay? Professional development. So I don't know if it's every state, I don't know. But in Texas, you must have a certain amount of hours every year of still learning and growing. They call them professional development. So you learn new skills or things are refreshed, you're reminded of stuff. And things are always changing, so we're changing with the changes. And so what's worrisome, are the teachers who don't want to change you want to stick to what they do but again if things aren't broke why you want to fix it but times have changed all the children have changed availability and access to the internet and all that stuff baby these are different type of children these are covid babies these are babies who prefer instant gratification they don't want to wait for anything they want it now they want it instantly they want it want it want it they don't want to work for nothing they don't want homework the parents don't want their kids to have homework that i don't understand not all but some but i'm like dang we can't get through all this during the day so can you do it at home can you reinforce a skill that was taught in class and work on it at home so when we come in the next day you're more prepared and well prepared for the lesson because it's going to build on top of each other. It's not just you learn it that one day and we never go back to it. We keep going back to it. So if you're not reinforced what you learned at home and practicing that skill, how are you going to get better at it? Just like an athlete. All athletes, you work at a skill, you work at whatever it is you're trying to master and that's how you get better. Or obviously it seems like that's like a, a, a curse in the education, they get my child too much homework. How are they gonna get better if they're not learning and practicing? That's just my opinion. You may feel a different way about it on it. We just gonna have to agree to disagree on this. But anyway, listen, 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 listen. I wanted to show you my little outfit of the day. The crazy thing about it, I did not wear these particular shoes with them, but I took my shoes off and I didn't feel like going to put them back on because they're not the easiest pair of shoes to put on. And I put on comfortable shoes today because today was the first day of training and I wasn't quite sure where I was going. So I didn't want to stuck out there wearing some heels that was hard to walk in and I had to walk 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 because the site where they're having the trainings they're doing construction and all this kind of stuff so a lot of the exits are blocked off so I went with the more practical shoe this morning practical but still cute I just wasn't putting them back on just to show this quick outfit so okay okay so listen listen I did buy these pants at Target I don't know if I'm gonna jump over a video to do this video but if you see it I put the pants back on or if you see it for the first time <laughs> okay this is my first time wearing them not for me the crazier the better i'm just gonna do me but here's my little outfit i, I don't know how it's gonna work up in here but we're gonna tr we're gonna figure this thing out okay calm down calm down and yes i did put the hat on because i still have not got to my hair i need to do my hair but i'm doing other things oh i have so much to do with all these professional developments blah 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 blah, blah. so put my little sweatpants back on that i got from Target. I just love them. I think they're the cutest things ever. And this little part right here feels so good. Feels soft. And I just put a little blazer on. And I like to roll my sleeves up on my blazers, okay? You know, not to show a little bit, you know, show a little something, something, okay? And I threw this on because I don't really like the, the, the sweatpants string and stuff. So I just threw that on. You know, I was just doing layers. And I wasn't sure if it would be cold. So I just threw this on to go with the little colors of the rainbow. What? What? <laughs> the hair is not too cute right now. <laughs> I was trying to find something to throw on his head. So I don't know. When I go to trainers, I still like to play dress up and stuff. 
uh-huh, yes. And then I met me a new friend today. Her name is Darby. She was like, oh my God. Oh my God, we need to be friends. We need to be friends. Yes. I just love it. Love it. We need to be friends. So we've been chit-chatting a little bit. I was like, look, sis, we cannot be friends if you do not eat crawfish, okay? That is just not going to happen. And she was like, uh, yes, I was born in the South, in Louisiana. Yes, I grew up eating crawfish. I was like, well, I'm a Brooklyn girl. I grew up eating sunflower seeds and crab, which means it's a lot of work for a little piece of pleasure. But in crawfish the same way. So I just fell in line when it came to the crawfish, honey. Good. Good, period. Mm, I'm sorry if you don't eat crawfish or scavenge of the sea, whatever you want to call it. I do. A lot of us in Texas do, okay? I know I was born and raised in Brooklyn, but sometimes if you can't beat them, you might as well join them, and that's what I did. <laughs> Good? Yes. So I just want to clarify one thing, just one thing, because I'm not a liar. That was a serious eye roll? Yes, it was. That's when you really doing an eye roll for emphasis. Okay, so of course, you know, Bay Daddy and I are going back and forth, back and forth. And sometimes when you're going around and around in circles, you're just going around, you're saying the same thing, saying it different ways. They're going to believe their point. You know how when you fight with somebody, they believe their point of view, I believe my point of view. And if there's no meeting in the middle, we just separate because we just not, we just, we, and we just not coming to the center. Okay, to agree to disagree because when you can explain some some magical things happening, maybe we can be in the, anyway. What I said, I said what I said, and I meant what I said, and I know what I said because I want. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. Okay. So I said what I said, and what I said was um, that Bay Daddy, they asked for one thing back, okay? And I said, yeah, they asked for one thing, and I'm going to try to find the clip where I can put it here, because I know what I said. I asked for one thing back, and I just gave them the rest. I just gave them the rest of their stuff. That, that's what I said. I didn't say they took back, so they didn't decline it. And so. baby, all that spoiled, all the gifts, all of that. <laughs> All of that went back. I'm like, okay, take it all. You can have it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Like, you know, nothing I'm going to really miss besides one thing. And I could go get one of those if I want. But I don't know. So that kind of was, I was like, and you take it back, all your stuff? You know, I offered it. You know, they asked for one thing back. And I was like, okay, you asking for that back? Just take it all. So anyway, that means you took it all. How about that? <laughs> Shoot. Well, return my things. Put it right on it on the on the front porch. Shoot. Well, I just wanted to clarify that. It's like, yeah, yeah. I didn't ask for my no, I just asked for one thing. Yes, and that's what I said in the video. That Bay Daddy asked for one thing and I just gave them back gave them back the rest of the stuff. Go ahead, take your stuff. Take your stuff. Okay? Shoot. Shoot. Okay, I just want to set the record straight. That's what I said. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Well, give me back my stuff. All right, y'all. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, y'all.